Hi guys, welcome to Brains and the Beat here on YouTube. And if you're new here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl. And if you're oldie but goodie, thank you for staying tuned to me. Anyways, I wanted to talk about our national heroes since it's the Heroes Weekend. And this story is going to come about where they say there's actually more than seven national heroes in Jamaica. And they're trying to get that implemented into our heritage and implemented into our history books and all of that. So let's get into the article and it says the Center for Repatriation Research at the University of West Indies in joining with the Jamaicans in general to com commemorate National Heroes Day has indicated that while the national heroes are important for having fought for the rights of Jamaicans to be free, especially from the extreme burden of slavery, they were assisted in the process by lesser known heroes. In a statement on Friday, the Center for Repatriation Research said that the national heroes are rightly acclaimed for having fought for us to be free from enslavement, free from torture, free from form of brutality, and now free to make our own decision as a result of political independence. However, Professor Vernier Shepard, director of the center, highlighted the importance of remembering that our heroes and heroine did not resist without the assistance of other brave men and women who gave their lives for the freedom we enjoy today. And a lot of people take the freedoms that we have today for granted. And that's why I'm sure our heroes are in their graves rolling, um, upset seeing the amount of crime and violence that's happening in a country where, where they fought for everybody to be free and everybody to act as brothers and sisters. So I'm sure not in our grave their role. And if he was if she was alive and well, she probably would be whooping some people's ass as we speak. But that's neither here nor there. Let's continue. Professor Shepard, we have to ensure that in venturing these seven, we do not forget others like Chief Taki and Chief Jamaica, as well as the little known men and women, including Joseph Fitzroy and Elizabeth Ball from St. James, Esther Comba from Ho Hanover, and Edward Warren from St. Elizabeth, all of whom were tried and sentenced by court martial for their role in the 1831-32 Emancipation War. The statement further says that Sam Sharp, Paul Bogle, George William Garden, and Nanny of the Maroons did not fight the horrors of colorism on their own. Neither did Marcus Garvey alone push for rights and respect for Jamaican in the post-slavery period. Even Alexander Bustamante and Norman Manley had help navigating Jamaica to and through the political independence. Each of Jamaica's heroes is the only heroine instead reflect a region, regional spirit of resistance against colonialism and the use and abuse of human beings of African descent. This statement urged the nation to let us let us use Heroes Day as an opportunity to remember every single man and woman in his or her own right was a hero. So they're basically saying that everybody that was in the slavery days um, played their role in helping to get Jamaicans slaved. Um, and slavery abolished and I have to agree everybody is a hero in their own way and in their own right and everybody knew that our seven national heroes did not abolish slavery on their own they couldn't have abolished slavery on their own they had to have help and it takes a unity it takes communication it takes education it takes people having one set goal to, and working together to meet that set goal and accomplishing that set goal that they put together. So we know that it didn't just happen with those seven people alone. 
do I think they need to rewrite our history books and add other heroes and heroines no i don't think so because that is gonna cause a lot of confusion that is going to cause a lot of just things that jamaica don't need as far as their culture and heritage go i find that every time somebody tries to rewrite history or rewrite our history books it always goes left it always goes south and I feel like our seven hero heroes and heroines that we have, they deserve what they have. Yes, others need to be remembered. Others need to be talked about also for their contribution. But do I think that they need to go scrapping all our history book and scrapping all our history lessons as Jamaica just to include them? No, I don't think so. Not one bit. Because... Jamaica culture, history, heritage is made on those seven heroes and heroine. And if you go back and try to change it, it's just going to cause a lot of confusion, a lot of mayhem. And I'm like Jamaicans and Jamaican people don't need any more confusion, any more mayhem in their life, any more dysfunction. We have enough of that going on right now. Comment in the comment section though and tell me if you think that more national heroes need to be added if they helped abolishing slavery or do you think that the seven heroes and heroine that we have already need to remain the same because if they change it it's gonna cause a lot of confusion or do you think it doesn't matter if they change it or not tell me what you guys think in the comment section don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl here on youtube and Happy Heroes Weekend. I know a lot of things is popping in Jamaica. Please stay safe. Um, please stay safe. Because you know pretty out there. At all. And a lot of things are going on in Jamaica right now. Drink, Don't drink and drive. Make sure you have a, a designated driver. If you're going to drink. Or you're going to get an Uber. Or somebody going to pick you up in a car. Do not drink and drive don't get yourself mixed up into anything don't argue with anybody that's intoxicated don't fight anybody that's intoxicated because as you guys know these fights when jamaicans become intoxicated leads to death you can you can take the thing the poly, the security guard that killed the patreon at dream weekend as a example do not do it stay safe and comment everything that you think about this whole situation in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.